Hi everybody, you are listening to 31 Days of Horror, a series of blogs and podcasts where every day for 31 days from October the 1st till October the 31st, you will be taken on a ride through 31 film experiences, unlike the typical list of movies that you come to expect from the Halloween season. 31 Days of Horror is officially sponsored by Infernal Imagery. Visit infernalimagery.com throughout October 2018 and receive 20% off your purchases by using the offer code 31DAYS. Today's tea of the day is Infernal Imagery Planchette. That's offer code 31DAYS for 20% off at infernalimagery.com. It's the 22nd of October. How well, are you I'm feeling? I'm good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a bit better. I think my sore throat's going. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. good. I'm, oh. You never complained about it. Such a trooper. I'm trying, uh-huh. trying, trying, um, but uh, I don't know. I've been having some weird dreams. Oh, weird, yeah. weird, dark, malevolent dreams. Like sadistic. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I've just been advertising infernal imagery too much. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think it's just the... Uh, but they're so well-made products. They are well-made products. and they Really do... comfy um, the designs are amazing. I, I would say they get under my skin, but that's not how you wear a T-shirt. <laughs> if you, if, 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 I'm trying to think of something to say back to that. If infernal imagery is getting under your skin, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, you're doing mm-hmm. it wrong. Speaking of doing it wrong... Nina forever. <laughs> yes. I got a transition that worked. That worked, right? Yes. It worked. Why not? Okay, Nina Forever came out in 2015. It's a it's a comedy horror. Yeah. Okay, so but it's not necessarily funny. Okay? So, <laughs> it was directed by the Blaine brothers, Ben Blaine, Chris Blaine. All oh, them. Yeah. So, we know who to blame. Yeah. The Blaine the blame brothers. brothers. And it stars uh, Sian Barry, Abigail Hardingham, and Fiona O'Shaughnessy. 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 Are you tinkering with my loose cable? I can't help it. And Ka- yeah, so uh, Fiona is in it. And Ka- Catherine, <laughs> Catherine Bennett Fox. Catherine Bennett Fox. Okay, so after his girlfriend Nina dies in a car crash, I thought it was a, I thought it was a motorcycle crash. Okay, Rob unsuccessfully attempts suicide. What See, that's what the comedy is. Yeah, that's a bit. <laughs> Does it? He tries to commit suicide, he gets it wrong, and he goes, wah, wah, wah. As he begins to overcome his grief, he falls in love with a co worker, Holly. Holly. Their relationship is complicated when Nina, unable to find rest in the afterlife, comes back to life. Um, to sarcastically torment them whenever they have sex. That's always. I mean, trouble. imagine. Can you imagine pitching this movie? You know, you've got a ghost that torments a couple when they have sex. She comes through the bed, a blooded corpse. Yes. And inter- interrupts them whilst they're having coitus. It's inconvenient. It's rude. That's what it is. It's rude. It's 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 rude and naughty, but it's it's so good, and and everybody's naked. <laughs> and the the strange thing is, is that they actually end up getting used to it because it, this happens every time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Holly and the uh, the guy whose name obviously we don't need to give him a name. Rob, 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 Rob and Holly. They're they're really really keen to uh, to carry on this relationship, and even though the ex girlfriend comes. Uh, through the bed appears through the bed all bloodied like a dead corpse she's okay with it she goes back it's yeah, like, yeah. you know what it's like when, when you when you think about the hang-ups that you had about girls in the past did that ever come up bloodied corpse through the bed 
only a couple of times. Would that be a deal breaker for you? Um, it depends if she was how attractive she was. <laughs> well, well, it doesn't seem to be a deal breaker for these two. And uh, well, I, I, Return of the Living Dead Part Three. I find her attractive in that, and she's all kinds of wrong. Oh, yeah, she gets like a spring, so it's putting it through her skin and stuff. And yeah, yeah, mangles herself. Oh, love it. <laughs> You're just so sadistic. Ah, you're my kind of friend. Um, but yeah, it's it's but it's one of those things. It's like she's okay with this. She's totally okay with this. She's fine. Yeah, would you be though? Yeah. Seriously, I mean, she has dark thoughts. I mean, she's yeah, she's the one who has all the weird sadistic. Thoughts, yeah, so. she's very yeah. She 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 turns her her friends off with with thoughts of um of I mean, she's turned on by the guy who. Who wants to commit suicide? She finds that hot. Yeah. So um, and um, but you know it's it's a it's a very well made film. I think it's a very well delivered um, bit of drama for for a horror film that yeah. that's classed as a comedy. So did you like this film? I did. Yeah. Yeah. Different. It's a, well, I always like anything that subverts. Yeah. The genre, anyway. But yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I think it looked great. Definitely not a Meg Ryan film. Well, the way her face looks now, it might be. <laughs> but, um, yeah. yeah, Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Making Nina forever? Yeah. Wow, who would be the third? Who would be the dead girl? Or would Meg Ryan be the dead girl? Megan Fox. <laughs> Michael Bay's director. <laughs> what, and, and sharing the, the right director credit with Rod Reiner? Yeah. I mean, this is... Dead in Seattle. <laughs> Coming dead in Seattle. Yeah, C U M I N G dead in Seattle. Uh, <laughs> Tom Hanks with his um, turning hooch face. Oh man! Uh, but it, it is a very different film. But it's, like you say, very well made. Um, yeah, it's good. I really, I'd recommend it to people. Yeah, because you know, if it's an alternative list, I mean, that we're, yeah. we're trying to pull people into watching something that is not necessarily. Poltergeist, the movie, uh, The Exorcist, yeah. you know, the classics as we know them. Do you feel as though this would be a classic that you watch every year? I mean, if you're very weird, you'd have to be pretty weird, I think, to watch Well, it this took me year. about four or five times to actually finish the film because of all the masturbating out of it. <laughs> it is so twist. maybe that would be my, my main issue. Yeah, well, it, it would definitely get in the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like my dad's. Um, <laughs> it's totally not related. I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> my dad used to have uh, Basic Instinct on VHS. <laughs> yeah. And have you watched it? When it got to the sex scenes, it just went really grainy. <laughs> it was the only bits he ever watched. <laughs> Bless him. Worn them out. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, if only he knew that. You know, twenty years later, there'd be um... a film called Nina Forever. <laughs> God, he would have lost his shit over this. No ice uh, picks, but an actual corpse. An actual corpse. Corpse grinding. Corpse grinding. Yeah, yep. Nina forever. It's, yep, worth watching. It's fun. And um, yeah, I, I recommend it. But um, not a classic, but just something. No, definitely that, not a classic. So, but... Something that you just got to see. Okay, be brave, people. Get yeah, out it's and watch like this. Teeth. Have you ever seen Teeth? We did see Teeth. Yeah, you but sort we, of watched we, it and go, oh, that was good, I watched that. Yeah. We, just don't really need to we didn't really want to talk that. about it, though, I remember. We, we just kind of thought, well, yeah, it's a, a, the vagina dendata, um, yeah. which is a, a, it's a philosophy of the of the vagina with teeth. Mm. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that's uh, that's enough for um, yeah for that. For Nina forever. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. Now for a word from Infernal Imagery, because they wear clothes. While they make clothes. While we make clothes. Yeah. Okay. I like Tell that. them that. Tell them they have to use that now. Yeah, that's it. All right, cool. 31 Days of Horror is officially sponsored by Infernal Imagery. Visit infernalimagery.com throughout October 2018 and receive 20% off your purchases by using the offer code 31 Days. Today's tea of the day is Infernal Imagery Planchette. That's off a code 31 days for 20% off at infernalimagery.com.